morning everyone, how are we? Today we are at a Woolwich Railway Station. This is Woolwich's Cross Rail Station, the Elizabeth Line Station. The Johnson Station is just down there as well as um, Woolwich High Street. Um, and the reason we are here today to play another game of Transport Roulette. You know the rules by now. Woolwich Station was randomly generated from a list of interchanges uh, this morning. I didn't know where we were going until about an hour ago. Um, Starting here at Woolwich, and my Python program on my phone will randomly generate our next mode of transport and where we're going based off of that. So we've got a tube, a rail, pretty much every single mode of transport in London is included, including the new Elizabeth Line. Overground Elizabeth Line, southbound slash westbound, four stops. Well, we do not have the overground from here, but we will get the Elizabeth Line. Four stops is at Custom House, Canary Wharf, Whitechapel, Liverpool Street, I think. If I'm not mistaken. You know, I believe there's a Maidenhead train in a couple of minutes. We'll get that. Plenty, plenty of transport modes available. Let's see where we're off to even there. Maidenhead. Next station, Cast oh, we just dumped off the train at Liverpool Street. Apart from Liverpool Street, I'm not sure if there are any better interchanges that we could go to, except maybe King's Cross St Pancras. It's an absolutely incredible, incredible interchange in terms of what we have. We have obviously the Tube, we have both the Overground and the Elizabeth Line, we have National Rail, and of course we have buses available for us as well. But not only that, you have to remember that we also have the transport modes you have available from Moorgate. Because since the Elizabeth Line has opened, Moorgate and Liverpool Street have all become one sort of complex. So both Moorgate and Liverpool Street are accessible from where we are now. So we have access to Great Northern and the Northern Line additionally as well. Now train the pots from Maidenhead. Let's roll. National Rail, southbound slash westbound, 10 stops. We have two different operators of National Rail here. We have Great Northern operating the Northern City line out of Moorgate, and we also have Greater Anglia operating services eastbound um, towards Stratford and Shenfield, with Shenfield being our outer limit. I guess we are getting Great Northern from here. There is a train, there is a Stevenage service departing from here in less than 15 minutes. So we'll get that. Ten stops northbound, I guess. I still, I still need to work out exactly where that is. Back on the northern city line. I just love how classic this looks. The remnants of Network South East here. Oh, well, Morgate's got LCD di um, departure displays. I believe the Stevenage train is actually on the opposite platform. I worked out that we are going to Palmer's Green. Palmer's Green on the Harfley Loop. An area I know sort of well, it is quite close to home. It's a ghost train, almost virtually empty on board this ghost line, the Northern City Line. This line gets particularly busy in the morning when. Um, all the city workers that live in uh, North London and Hertfordshire cram onto these trains to try and get into Moorgate. It's an interesting experience being on one of those trains. In fact, I was on one of those this morning. Essex Road. It's on the ghost station on Northern City Line. Hardly anyone ever gets on a rough here. <laughs> to roll an expert of transport from Palmer's Green. Keep rolling, challenge. National Rail, southbound slash westbound, two stops. I believe we can go southbound from Palmer's Green. 
Luckily, there is a southbound Great Northern service departing from the opposite platform. Two stops that is back down to Alexandra Palace. Alexandra Palace. Very exciting. Let's roll down the random number while we're on the platform to determine what our challenge is for those of you that don't know. Challenge is a new system, it's a challenge that we must complete within some point um, of our transport roulette today. On the screen, swiftly over to the opposite platform, let's head back down in towards central London for two stops. It's quite busy here today actually. Anyway, let's determine what our challenge is. Our 1108 service two more that will be arriving in very shortly. There are 14 possible challenges, and they both involve something vaguely challenging to do while we're in London. Challenge number two: find a spelling mistake. That's a good one. So, at some point within our transport roulette today, we need to find a spelling mistake. A 717010 is going to be our train into uh, Morgate as far as Alexandra Palace. Actually really difficult. As it turns out all the safety instructions on the trains do not have spelling mistakes. And how are we going to find something that does have a spelling mistake? Just looking at all the text I can see and see if there's a mistake in. Alexandra Palace. Let's roll, just, but just in case. It turns out that we need to stay on the same train. Bus. We've got our first bus of the day. So we are getting off here. 261. North slash eastbound. Six stops. So closest bus route to 261. Northbound or eastbound. Six stops. So we are exiting the station here. Okay, as... Well in service to Bart 717008 and our train 717010. But down south we have two bus routes available from here. We have the 184 and we have the W3. The 184 is going to be closer uh, to 261. And we are heading northbound or eastbound, so that's towards Turnpike Lane. For six stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, six stops right to the terminus at Turnpike Lane Station. So, 184, northbound eastbound, six stops, we are going to Turnpike Lane Station. Uh, here comes our bus, looks like we've got a very nice electric bus which will be taking us to Turnpike Lane today. Turnpike Lane Station is not just the nicest thing to say, Turnpike Lane Station, I love saying it. Hello, reflection. It's difficult to realise on a tube map, but Alexandra Palace and Wood Green are actually within walking distance of Palmer. You can get her only in but like a 10 minute walk. Here we are, Turnpike Lane Station. Not only home to a station on the Piccadilly line, but also home to a massive bus interchange. We're getting very lucky with our destinations today, aren't we? Boston Road, Woolwich was an incredible place, Liverpool Street, which is an incredible place, here, which is also an incredible place. Not only is here an incredible place for um, interchanges, but it's also an incredible place to get lunch around here. If you're over in London, this is a very good place to get lunch here. Food of all, all cultures, very cheap. And there's a McDonald's or a Greg's if your preference is that. It's one of my favourites in Wood Green. said Wood Green is a good place to come from. This was five quid. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? That was very tasty, actually, for £5.50. Recommended by a very close friend of mine. And she assures me that it is authentic Taiwanese food. But Taiwanese food doesn't... It doesn't um, like fried chicken it doesn't instantly strike you as being a Taiwanese thing, but apparently it's very popular over there. Anyway, we're just making our way over to the bus station. Remember, we still have to find a spelling mistake. We still have to find a spelling mistake. Let's roll for our next mode of transport from here at Turnpike Lane. Bus 199, southbound slash westbound, 
10 stops. It's going to be a pain trying to find the closest route to 199 here. Um, but we're going 10 stops south or westbound if we can. I think the 217 towards Orphan Cross is going to be our closest route. Which only goes northbound or eastbound, annoyingly, from here, but we can go 10 stops on it, surprisingly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cambridge round the belt, north side. As our destination, Cambridge round the belt, north side. Just checking that Cappuccino's got two C's. Here comes our 2 bus 7, which we'll be taking as far as Cambridge round the belt, north side. Bus goes all the way to Wharton Cross, right on the border between. Lumbar of Enfield, Hertfordshire and Essex, so it's right on the border between those three counties. Very nice seat maquette, I do like this maquette. Not a very well kept bus to be honest. And Cambridge Roundabout is the junction where the A10 and the A406 roads meet, so that's where the North Circular uh, and um, Great Cambridge Road meet, so the road that goes all the way from London to Cambridge. So it's quite it's quite a busy junction it gets if you've ever driven around there, the traffic around there is absolutely horrendous. We found one guys. I didn't catch it on camera, I'll see if I can put a picture of it on Google Street View. That was a shop. That was a shop that should be on screen for you now. And it did the classic, it did the classic, it misspelled stationary. It's a homeware shop and it misspelled stationary that challenge completed. Bus. Six northbound slash eastbound, five stops. Closest bus route to um, six. Just went for a red light. Um, oh, let me sit down and work that out. As off goes our Enviro 400 MMC, which doesn't sound too healthy to be honest. We are here at the north side of the Cambridge roundabout in the London bar of Enfield. Uh, from here, I believe the closest bus route is the W6. The W6 goes here, um, runs between Southgate and Edmonton Green. How the hell are we going to get to the bus stop is a different question. This looks absolutely terrifying, I've got no idea how I'm going to cross this. Here comes our W6, which we'll be getting all the way to the terminus of Edmonton Green. Sounds like some narrator there, didn't I? I would love to learn how to scuba dive. Hail and ride section. I was surprised that Londoners or people that live outside of London aren't familiar with what hail and ride sections are. Hail and ride sections are effectively. Press the button and the bus will stop and then look, this isn't even a bus stop, the bus is gonna stop here and let this passenger off. And it just this just doesn't happen in other places outside of London. Like always, you can, you can hail a bus in a safe place and the bus will stop and pick you up, even if it's not at the bus stop. What is our habit today of just arriving at huge bus interchanges? Okay, we are here at Edmonton Green. Edmonton Green. Home to Big Bus Station, home as well to London Overground, which stop here. We can get services towards London Liverpool Street. As well as services towards Enfield Town or Chesham from here. Okay, London Overground, Elizabeth Line, southbound slash westbound. Two stops. We can go both southbound and westbound from here. So we'll roll again, odd for Chesham to even for Liverpool Street. Even for Liverpool Street. And we're going two stops southbound, which I believe is White Hart Lane. Here comes our train, which we're taking as far as White Hart Lane. So well, the drivers on the Lee Valley lines are real timetable warriors. They'll do anything. They'll come into the stations like 30 miles an hour, do everything they can to try and keep on time. Which I'm not complaining about. Must have a very stressful life, these people. White Hart Lane where it's just started raining. White Hart Lane, quite a big station actually, um, surprisingly big. 
as our strange parts about for London Liverpool Street. I assume that's because um, uh, Tottenham Football Club is right next door, so when there's a match play, there'll be huge numbers of passengers wanting to use the station, so it makes sense that they've upgraded it. As you may have seen while we were on the train, we rolled our next mode of transport, which is a bus. We are specifically getting the bus uh, number W3 uh, because it's the only bus which serves uh, White Hart Lane Station. And we are getting that six stops westbound, which I believe takes us to New River Sports Club. We seem to be going round in a loop today, and we seem to do that almost every time we play Transport Roulette. Does anyone out there happen to be a very good mathematician? And if so, can they prove that transport roulettes are always likely to go in a loop? That's an interesting maths question for you there. Do transport roulettes tend to a loop? If anyone has an answer, please leave it down in the comments below. I don't want to waste your time, so if you don't fancy doing it, I don't really blame you. Okay, either this guy's got his blinds the wrong way round, or we're at the wrong bus stop. I think it's going to Northumberland Park, I believe it's going to Finsbury Park. W3 to 5. Okay, I assume that means Finsbury Park. From our next station of the River Sports Centre, we rolled an additional 7 stops westbound. That is going to take us to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Guess where? Somewhere where we were this morning. It's none other than Alexandra Palace Station. So, everyone, with the bus still chewing its front of the station, we have arrived at Alexandra Palace. That bus stop just down there on the left was where we were about two, three hours ago. Give me two seconds, it seems I've lost the case for my camera. Sorry, I've not got the faintest clue where it's gone. Okay, situation report. Transport roulette ends here. Operation will be trying to find my camera case. Which, the first part of which entails attempting to get to Finsbury Park before the bus we were on from White Hart Lane to here arrives there. Let's look at when T221, or whatever the bus was, arrives into Finsbury Park. Okay, so T221 arrives into Finsbury Park at 14.32. We should get in there, or our train leaves at 14.28. So hopefully we should be able to get down there and then maybe even pick up the W3. Let's go back up to Alexandra Palace. Okay, we've just arrived at Finsbury Park. Lovely driver. Look what we found. Camera case. I'm very pleased. He said that he saw a little black thing, he didn't know what it was. <laughs> and that imme and, and I, I immediately lit up because I knew what it was. I'm so happy you found that. But it's only because I was a transport enthusiast. Only, be only, be only because I like buses. Only because of that that I was able to find this thing. Isn't that amazing? Oh, let's stand from the platform where look, this looks interesting. It's not. It's not the spoiler the train we can get on, but it's something interesting. You don't often get stuff on some platform, mate, unless it's a freight train or something or the other. Oh, it is a freight train, look. Okay, I can hear something yinging away at the front, which sounds to me like a class 66. So I think we'll finish the video here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really, really do hope you've enjoyed the transport relay. I'm very happy that I got my camera case back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Off we go to Stevenage.